So you want to know exactly how you can boost up your players, maybe even five overalls or six overalls higher. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have a look at the boost item, the coat, whatever you want to call it, right over here in the left hand corner. Now, at the moment, I've got the strategic medal. I have got quite a few of the boosts here. I've got all the medals. We don't care. Let me tell you. <laughs> We don't care. But on this one, we're just going to take a look at the strategic medal. Now, you want to check on this one uh, which one you actually have. So, as you can see at the bottom, there's loads of different boosts, and there's basically three play styles. Now, there's power, finesse, and strategic. This one here is a strategic medal because it has that yellow diamond. Then you've got the power medal, which is here, and power is a orange square. And then you've got a green circle for finesse over there. Wow. As you can see here, you want to pick the one which boosts or matches to most of your players. As you can see under the players, there's a green line. Now each of these players are strategic players and they match with my strategic medal because they're all the same play style. But if you go over to this lineup, um, they're all finesse players, except for that Vince Carter. And you can see, because he's a strategic player, he doesn't match with the finesse medal. So he isn't matching with that finesse medal. Now, why is this important? Well, basically, if you go onto your boost item, uh, like I have the medal here, you can see it's giving out a certain amount of boosts. And you can see the more players that match with the strategic medal or whatever boost item you have, the more players that match with it, the more boost you're going to get. So as you can see in this lineup, I have 10 players that match with the strategic medal because they're all strategic players. And that means I'm going to get five goat boosts, five pickpocket boosts and five dead eye boosts. So that's going to be what you want to do. Try and match as many players as you can to that boost item that you have and match, make sure they're the same play style. So they're all strategic or they're all finesse or they're all power. Now, it doesn't have to be that they're all the same play style. If we go over to my main lineup, you don't have all of them strategic. You have some finesse like that curry. You got a power point guard in Magic Johnson and you got some other power, power forwards and centers. But what you want to do is you want to look at your boost item. Now, as you can see, to get the top amount of boost, you're going to want to match 10 players. But you don't have to. So say if you've got a higher overall power forwards that's not actually the same play style as your main lineup. So say like on this account, I got a higher power forward than I do a strategic power forward. And he's a power player. This Jay Crowder over here is a power player. He's not a strategic player, but he's higher overall than that Vin Baker. So I've started him instead. And what you want to try and do is you can have up to six players and make sure you're having six players at least that are the same play style. So I've got at least six players that are strategic. So they match with my strategic medal. So they will give out a plus three boost on all of them. But then if we go back to the other lineup over here, the full strategic lineup, this one's got all 10 of the players matching with my uh, boost item. So it's going to give out a plus five in all of these three different categories, the goat boost, the pickpocket boost and the dead eye boost. And we'll go into each of those boosts and what they exactly mean later on in the video. But that's basically what you want to do. You want to try and match as many players as you can to that medal or boost item on whatever you have. Maybe it's a coach, maybe it's the Steve Nash, maybe it's any one of these um, sort of mascot teams or stuff you get from the free live pass. Maybe it's one of them. Make sure you're matching as many players as you can to that play style of the boost item. Then, as you can see here, going in to the jerseys and the courts, you can see the courts, it can give out a boost if you've got a boosted court. And if you didn't watch one of my previous videos, I explained how you can get a free boosted court over here. So I picked this one, the State Farm Arena, and it is giving out a court general boost. Now, it's a gold boost, but most of the boost items over here do give out elite boost. But the courts are pretty decent. They do give out some boost. And make sure you're getting this court because it's only available for a little bit because it's only out for like a week and a bit um, as of recording. So it could be out or it could be gone already. So make sure you're trying to get that and make sure you go check out the video the card should be popping up right now go check that out and work out how you can get this you can also get some more from playing through the campaigns you can get some better ones if you go into the campaigns you go into rebirth especially you go into carmelo anthony volume four you can see the motor center now this one is pretty good it's giving out a court general boost and a pickpocket boost they're both gold boosts and they are two boosts at the same time so that's probably the best one you could get if you're free to play and you haven't bought the live pass because the live pass does give out quite a few good court boosts but then as you can see the jerseys as well they're also going to give out some boosts so the ones that i've got you can see this oklahoma city one it's giving out a coin boost an xp boost and a bully ball boost i think that is and then also on a wayside you've got a golden state warriors boost that is giving out a dead eye boost over there now all of these ones you want to look in the top left hand corner where it's giving out a boost so you can see this all-star jersey over here doesn't have anything in the top left hand corner it's not going to give out a boost but then as you can see this one over here it's got the high flyer thing over there as you can see that person dunking so that one's going to give out a gold boost there and you've also got this one stonewall all of these stuff you want to try and pick the ones that are giving out as many boosts as you can 
Some of these jerseys, they do give out two boosts and those are mainly from the campaigns, like I said earlier with the Rebirth and uh, Redemption, I think it is. They give out some boosts over there that do give out two of them. As you can see, it's gonna um, go around in circles with the two boosts. You can see the glass cleaner and the other one over there. And same with this one, it's got the high fly and the stone wall boost, but you wanna be picking some that do give out quite a few boosts and maybe some of their elite boosts as well. But we'll go on to which ones or which types of boosts are the best when I go onto the spreadsheet and show you which ones are the best. But at the moment, that's what I've got as my two jerseys over there. Then going on to the actual players themselves. Now, as you can see, some players, they do have boosts. So this Dennis Rodman, he's giving out a glass cleaner boost. The Larry Bird's giving out a dead eye boost. Uh, the Vince Carter's giving out a high flyer boost. The Magic Johnson's giving out a court general boost. Now, I suggest if you've got a higher overall player, so like this Larry Bird, LeBron James is higher overall than the Larry Bird. So I stuck Larry Bird on the bench because he will give out more boosts if they're on the bench because I'll boost more of the players on your team if they're on the bench. So he's giving out a dead eye boost to everyone on the team. And as you can see, this LeBron James, his three point shot is boosted by 16. Now that's not just from Larry Bird giving out the high fly boost, that's also from the jersey. As you can see, the Brooklyn Nets statement jersey is giving out a dead eye boost. The strategic medals giving out a plus five on the dead eye boost. So it's all these things that will give out some extra boost here and there. Again, the Vince Carter high fly boost, he'll give them out to the other players over there. So we'll check out LeBron James dunking plus seven in that category because it's not getting many from the boost items, but it is getting quite a lot. So make sure you're putting your boost players on the bench because that'll be great help as you can then boost your players as much as you can. And as you can see here, like I've just been scrolling through all of these different lineups, I've got different lineups for different play styles over here. So this one's my finesse lineup. I'm missing a finesse shooting guard on that side on the bench, but this is my power lineup where I've just put all the matching players so I can try and boost up players to get them higher overall for gameplay when I do gameplay with them. But yeah, that's basically how you can boost them up using your players, your boost items, your courts and your jerseys. So now let's head over onto the spreadsheet where I can show you exactly what the boosts do. Okay, so now heading over onto the spreadsheet. This was made by El Lacero. His link will be in the description down below, as well as a link where you can go download this. But this was made by him. I just had to translate some of it because he is a Spanish YouTuber and he is an EA game changer. So I had to translate some of it because it was all in Spanish. So I translated it and you can download it in the description. I thought I'd use this one because he is an EA game changer. So he should know a lot more about the game than me. So as you can see on the left-hand side on the first sheet, you can see it's got the name of the boost and you can go through all of them. There's nine of them. So there's Court General, Goat, Bully Ball, Pickpocket, Stonewall, Gym Rat, Glass Cleaner, Dead Eye, and High Fly. So those are the nine boosts in the game at the moment. And I think that's probably going to be the nine that are going to stay in the game. And I don't think we're going to have a tenth one, but those are the nine that are in the game at the moment. Then as you can see at the top, just to the right of name of boost, you can see there are different um, sections of the stats. So as you can see, there's athleticism, inside scoring, rebounding, outside scoring, post offense, defense, post defense, playmaking, and that's basically all the different sections of the attributes that the players have in the game at the moment. You don't need to worry too much about that. If we look at the strategic medal right over here, it's giving out three boosts. Now it's giving out the GOAT, pickpocket, and the dead eye boost. So if we go to the GOAT boost over here, you can see the ones with the X's in the columns, that means that attribute is going to be upgraded if you've got the GOAT boost. So looking at the GOAT boost, it's going to upgrade speed, agility, dribble speed, dribbling, first step, strength, quickness, vertical, tipping, dunking, mid-range shot, three-point shot, contested shot, shooting touch, shot off the dribble. And those are the stats that it's going to upgrade if you have that boost active on your team. Now, because those stats are going to be upgraded, it depends on how many people you're matching with your boost item. So let's say the strategic medal, if you're matching 10 players with it, it's going to be plus five in all those attributes that I just mentioned. So those are 15 attributes in total, and you're going to be plus five in all of those different attributes on a single card if you've got those requirements met. Like I said, with the matching the players and that boost exactly, so just the GOAT boost. And it's the same with all the different types of boosts. So say you have a high flyer boost, and say it's giving out plus 10, it's gonna boost the stats that have the X in the column. So it's gonna boost speed, agility, dribble speed, and all that stuff, all the stuff that has the X in. If you go right to the very end on the right-hand side, there is a column that tells you exactly how many stats that are boosted by the boost. So looking at it, the ones that are below 10 are the lower boost. So we're looking at like dead eye boost, all that stuff. But the ones that are plus 10, you can see here, there's one which is giving out 15, which is the goat boost. And there's two ones which are giving out 10 boosts over here to 10 different stats and those are the gym rat and the high fly boost now these two are probably along with the goat boost the best ones you can have in the game so we want to be trying to find like courts um jerseys boost items that are going to give out the goat boost the gym rat boost and the high fly boost because those are going to boost the most amount of stats 
on all of your players and those will basically just mean you're going to be boosting more attributes so may, more likely you're going to be upgrading the player by more overalls and basically getting them to higher overalls as you can see on my team lebron james's base from the life pass is a 98 overall but when he's boosted up all the way that i can get him with my strategic lineup he is boosted to 104 overall so that is a plus six overall um, difference between his base card and the boosted card that i have now on my lineup on my full strategic lineup and that's basically because of all the boosts that it's giving out from the players on the bench and the boost items the jerseys the courts all that stuff is going to give out a ton of boost to the players and that is why he is plus six so again like i said you can download the spreadsheet have a look at it see what attributes you will boost with the different boosts that you get on jerseys courts boost items all that stuff players it will just basically show you which attributes get boosted with the certain boost then if you go onto the second sheet here, there is just a boost summary and this was on the um, spreadsheet before. And basically what it says is on the, again, on the left hand side, you've got the name of the boost. So you've got all nine different boosts. Then you've got the type of boost, whether it's an offensive boost or a defensive boost, all that stuff. Some are both. So some are both offensive and defensive, like the gym rat, glass cleaner and the high fly boost. Those are both of them. Then you've got the main boost. So looking at the court general boosting organization. Um, physicality and outside shooting for the GOAT boost. And then on the next column, you've got the secondary boost. So what are the boosts it's gonna boost to? And as you can see, it's quite interesting. So if you look at the GOAT boost and the high fly boost, they're gonna boost the teammate stuff. So if you look here at the Vince Carter, he's giving out a high fly boost. So that means that he will be boosting his teammates, giving pretty much everyone that high fly boost, if I'm not mistaken. Then again, on the right hand side, you've got the number of stats that are boosted like we had in the other one. So yeah, that's going to do it for the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like. Go check out the link in the description where you can download this Excel spreadsheet. If you've got any more questions, leave them in the comment section down below or go join my Discord server. The link to that will be in the description down below as well, where you can ask other people, including myself on there. You can ask any questions that you have about the boost or anything to do with NBA Live Mobile. You can ask that on the Discord server or in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new for more tips and tricks videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.